What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Bones Collection. Uh, today I got something different, man. It's not a statue. Uh, it is a 3D printed model that I had printed by um, Matt Rosek. And shout out to Matt Mozek because he did a fantastic job with this and it came out perfect. Minimal sanding I won't have to do for this. And uh, you know what, let me just get right into it. And I'm going to put it on here and I'm going to put it together so you guys can see it. Right? Stay right there. So you're not going to be able to see my pretty face anymore. So I'm going to be putting the piece together right here. I might have to adjust the camera a little bit higher. Let me do that now. It's gonna fit right here, right? So let me get the pieces together. First piece that we have here is the base. And this is the base, the bottom of the base. This is it right there. That's 3D printed, so you're gonna see some 3D, you're gonna see some print lines and stuff like that. There we go. This is the base. Then I had to buy a three three quarter three fourths of a pipe an inch three fourths of an inch pipe preferably hollow in case I want to add some light into this uh, the wires are going right through here down into the base or whatever so this little piece right here we're going to this hole right here just like that and then I have his neck pieces Get closer up. I'll get closer so you guys can see the photo pictures. Uh, here's his neck pieces, right? These will go in sliding down onto this pipe, three four, three fourths of an inch pipe, right? And they're fitted a certain way, so you just make sure you get those right. Doesn't move, right? Goes here. Have the bottom of the head this would be like his chin I guess this would go down here in his jawline this will go down here just like that so it has like a swivel so in case you want to spin the head a different angle right and the next piece is the head here now the head this piece on the top here that I just put on comes in three parts. But in order to get this right, uh, to get it to fit right on the, on the neck piece, on the bottom piece that I just put, I had to assemble it together. If not, it'll just look weird and it'll be hard to uh, put together. So this is K2SO, right? You know what K2SO is? It's a rogue droid from the, the droid from Rogue One. And this is 3D printed, man. I love it. Uh, it does come with uh, eye sockets here, like uh, for the eyes, in case I'm, you know. But uh, I'm not going to put all that together because I will be uh, prepping this starting this weekend for some paint and all that. So I bought some UV resin uh, liquid. I've been looking at different videos on how to prep this for paint and all that. And so far everybody says that UV resin is probably the easiest uh, way to do this. Uh, you just coat it. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be making some progress videos uh, as I go along. But there's a lot of pieces on this that need to be uh, uh, prepped for priming and painting. This thing is awesome, and I can't wait to uh, get started on this. <clears throat> this thing is awesome. Right? So, there you go, fellas, and ladies and gentlemen. There you go, people. Thanks for watching my video again. And remember, I collect shit. That's what I do.